right, uh, why don't we get started? Um, we're just going to take 10 minutes here to go over the um, what's in the development pipeline, and then we'll break out into our breakout groups so we can do some brainstorming. Uh, so first off, where do you find out what is in development? Um, I, I know that we've kind of touched on this earlier in, um, in the uh, workshop, but just wanted to, you know, bring it back home again um, here. So basically, um, if you want to know what we're working on at any given time, um, you can go to um, the D DTC GitHub. Um, and uh, if you click on projects, then what you would see is, is something that looks like um, this. And it, it shows you all the projects that are, you know, presently being worked on. Um, I personally find it easier to hit sort over here on the, the right hand side. Um, so that I can see all the different um, projects that are in play. You'll notice here the screenshot that I took, all of these start with MET, MET, um, and then they have, you know, numbering and then some additional information. Uh, so um, uh, in this case, um, if you notice that it says beta and then some number and then a, um, it looks like a date, um, what that is is these are the beta releases that we have that are basically incremental progress towards, um, you know, the, the fully supported release to allow users to test the capability um, before we actually get to the full release. We found that this helps with our testing um, and detection of bugs and uh, making sure that the, um, you know, the capability is, is what the user is looking for. Um, and then after um, the beta, so beta two, we'll, um, we're shooting for um, August 3rd-ish. Um, um, and then beta three, um, September 14th-ish. Beta four, um, it looks like we need to update that to be, um, you know, a little bit later, like into um, October and, and so forth. You'll also notice that there is um, another uh, discriminator called RC. Basically, that stands for release candidate. Um, that means that the code is, is basically stable. We're not um, planning on making any other code changes other than if there's like a bug fix that we find through um, all the, the additional testing that we're doing of that release candidate. And then we're just working on um, trying to get the documentation wrapped up and so forth. So um, this is what it looks like for MET. Um, Met Plus, um, there's a similar um, structure. Um, so, you know, all the betas and the RCs um, are there. Um, and then um, Met Plus Analysis, which we talked about the suite of tools yesterday. We have all of those kind of bundled together um, into um, projects. Uh, so you can see all of the, how all of that pieces together for, for development. Um, so um, once again, just, you know, if you want to stay abreast of, of what we're doing, um, this is where you can go is GitHub projects, the DT Center um, top level projects page. If you were to drill down into um, those uh, different projects, um, you'll see here, I have two examples of um, uh, beta. So the Met Beta 2 it has one display um, that is more like a Kanban board. Sorry about that. Um, um, where it shows, you know, what's still to do, what's in progress, what's um, through in the pull request um, process, and then what's been done. So that's one way of looking at um, how things are proceeding. Um, the Met Plus um, Beta Two board right now has a, a slightly different layout. It's more in terms of a list. And you can see the status. Um, like we have one thing done. There's a couple of things that are in review. There, um, I didn't take the full screenshot, but there were, there's probably about five or six things in pro progress, and then there's a whole list of to do beyond that. So, if you wanted to um, toggle between this list view and the um, the board view, um, you can do that by clicking on you know the board um, instead. Uh, okay, so then um, what's coming for next year um, across like you know in the next year. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Excuse me. Anchoring first on the gaps for the metrics workshop, um, you know, from the metrics workshop that you know I reviewed yesterday. Um, we have projects funded um, to specifically address certain aspects of, um, uh, you know, uh, trying to fill in these gaps. So those are um, highlighted with the red boxes. Um, 
for example, we're, uh, we're going to be working with Silometer and ACARS data um, over the next year. Um, but uh, things like the SPC mesoanalysis support for that, our, um, the 3D um, RTMA um, and VAD wins, um, those are um, gaps that we need to, to work with um, the, the UFS application teams and the EMC verification branch to prioritize uh, be, be, due to uh, decreased um, in funding, we're not going to be able to um, address all of the, the gaps. And so we need to uh, make sure that we're, we're targeting the high priority um, gaps through talking to the application teams in the verification branch. Um, similarly for S2S, um, you know, there's some diagnostic, there's a uh, diagnostic um, that was identified that um, we're, we're going to need to discuss with um, the application teams and determine what is high priority, as well as some reference sources. Um, we do have a funded project to um, uh, work on getting integrated ice edge um, um, into MET Plus support for that. Um, but all of these other um, diagnostics for S2S and seasonal, um, once again, um, are not currently, we're not currently specifically funded um, to work on those and we'll have to prioritize as well as the reference sources. Um, we do have um, projects that are working on um, making sure that we have full support for Air Now um, and Geo, Geos 5 um, and um, Ballcat. I'm, I, um, that actually maybe shouldn't necessarily have a, a red box around it, but um, I, I'll have to look at what our project is, is working on at this point. Um, for coastal and lake and um, marine and cryo, um, and hurricane and, and so forth. Um, we are in the process of um, finishing up our support for buoys and ship obs um, and um, the Godet uh, data sets. Um, all the rest of these uh, that are in the marine cryo observation um, category, once again, we'll have to work with um, the, uh, the teams to um, identify priorities. Um, we are also working directly on um, uh, adding in the modified house door for um, the cryosphere um, uh, verification and so forth. Um, we also have a, a couple of funded projects right now to um, dig heavily into land and land surface um, uh, evaluation. So we should um, be uh, adding in um, all the support that we need for um, you know, the International Soil Moisture Network and, and Mesonets and Ameriflex and, and Landsat. And, and really exercising it and testing those out. So that's, that's good news for the land um, modeling uh, group. Um, and then for space weather, we have a direct um, project with the Space Weather Prediction Center um, and are working on testing out um, sources um, as they make them available to us. So we're um, slowly but surely trying to tick that off. Um, additional topics um, out there that uh, I was able to pull my memory and looking at a few um, proposals are um, we, we are working um, on support for unstructured grids and non-standard projections. That's a focus of one of the um, breakout groups. Um, extensions of the ensemble verification te techniques, um, you know, uh, doing a lot more work in that area. Enhancement of mode time domain to include the multivariate approach. Um, development of ways to increment, incrementally um, update intermediary files um, from daily operational output to, so that, that those data can be passed into series analysis and mode time do domain so you don't have to keep the full files on disk to run these, um, you know, series type tools. Um, uh, a few of the S2S diagnostics that we are currently already working on, sun stratospheric warming, um, gravity wave drag, and ENSO diagnostics. We're looking to transition the plot tcmpr.r um, script that was talked about earlier today to Python, um, and that will provide thing, uh, uh, measures such as the uh, frequency of superior performance and other capability. Um, doing a lot of extensive work on vertical interpolation to handle um, aircraft-based and LIDAR or sealometer-based profiles, as well as ocean profiles um, and, and so forth. So um, really digging into that through some funded work. Um, uh, doing additional optimization of tools with parallelization. And then um, we just um, found out we have a funded project to explore drought diagnostics. So that should be pretty interesting. We also just found out we um, have a, a continuation of our project with um, the Climate Prediction Center 
Um, so we'll be um, working heavily in, um, in the areas that they need um, for uh, evaluation as well. Um, so just really quickly, um, I'll go over this and then we'll see if there's any questions um, that people have. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go into these breakout groups. Um, so, uh, at, you know, as we transition now, pick one of these groups um, and, uh, and then um, at, at 11 o'clock, um, go ahead and, and pick a different session to attend um, so that you have an opportunity to provide input into two of the, the, um, the um, breakout group areas. And then we'll return back to this plenary, this meeting right here um, at 11.45 to get report outs. So are there any questions? Um, does this uh, profile work include the support for the new buffer soundings from Marion? Um, I can see that we could um, have those soundings as, a, as something to test out, um, you know, as we're developing that. So yes, I, I would hope that we could um, roll the buffer soundings into that as well. Um, and Eric, you raised your hand. Yeah, in the instructions, it said there would be a couple of Google Docs. Right? Is there a link to those? Um, yes. So if you, uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm posting a link to the breakout folder in the chat. Okay. Um, so uh, that's exactly what uh, um, what okay. Julie's putting there. But basically, if you go into the top level um, workshop drive and go to breakout groups and go to metrics, uh, excuse me, go to future needs um, breakouts, then there, there's just a, you know, uh, a set of um, Google Docs. Um, so for you, you know, you would go to cutting edge novel um, breakouts um, okay. topic. Okay. Yeah. And it said, which, which is the overall one? It said there were two, right? Yeah, there's um there's an A for the first half hour, a B for the second half hour, and oh. then there's a report out as well for each one. So the report outs start with report out followed by the name. Uh, actually, I guess there's just one. Yeah, A and B. There's one report out for for oh, each okay. um, uh, set of breakouts. Okay. All right, so why don't we um, go ahead and, and um, you know, jump into our breakouts. You know, uh, it clearly will, it'll take a, a, couple, a minute or two to, to get into there. So, um, but it'll still give us 25 minutes to do some brainstorming. So see you in a breakout session. And I'll stay here in this main session in case anyone has questions for a little bit. Awesome, thank you, Julie. 